Welcome. Welcome to the news. Let's get right into it. Uh, we got quite a few little things to talk about. Do, do I ever get anything from the Doom Wheel? The answer is no. Let's get into the news. Okay, first up, uh, Noir or Baru? Uh, if I say if I say that correctly, I don't know. Uh, it has a set with the animation. Now, it's a summer themed set. is a female one we've seen in previous news videos. It's just basically the same with a new staff. I don't know if this will be in the game. We are getting a summer shop at the end of this month. More on that later. Uh, so, could be in the game, but we don't know for sure. Yeah. Daniel posted his pirate uh, this week. Um, I think we saw this last year or something similar to it. Maybe it was for a different armor. He likes doing heads like this for pirates for some reason. Uh, so, we'll probably be seeing something like this this year again. Rare is confirming that this cape will be in the game next month. So, pretty good. So, June, July, in July, we will see this. Pretty good. Pretty okay, so Arlette has made a few background arts for a few different maps in Adventure Quest Worlds. I think the most recent one was actually my house right now. Uh, so, this house was made by Arlette, I'm pretty sure. Pretty, pretty, pretty certain on that one. So, here's another house from Arlette. Pretty, pretty sick interior, if I'm being honest. It looks very wide open. And it, Good for the AQ house items, how big they are and stuff like that. Really cool house, and I hope to see it in game. Really nice. Valentine has a concept for a purple robot lady with hair. Uh, okay, yeah, looks pretty cool. Hopefully we'll see a finished version of that sometime in the future. Speaking of concepts, Lei with the, uh, so he used yeah, just a snowflake emoji and uh, winter already? Are we having another uh, winter in July this year again? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I like the I like the concept. The uh, the plate on the arm looks similar to some of his previous sets, but artists do that a lot, so you'll you'll see that if you pay attention. Sorry if I'm a little weird here. Not a lot of sleep. Welcome to my life. All right. So this is confirmed to be coming into the game. Of this naval commander will be this talk of the pirate day so if you don't know when that is that's in september that's pretty soon that's a few months away so yeah confirmed to be in the game also there is a different color set of it a different color version of this set if i if i could speak at all okay yeah pretty cool glad it's coming into the game yeah th that's about all i have to say for that more on lay here so I'm probably gonna say her name wrong, Zaranelli? Zaranelli? Something like that. Sorry. Sorry, I, I definitely got your name wrong. Uh, she commissions a lot of art, by the way. If you follow her on Twitter, I have been for a while. A lot of art. And she enters contests, she wins a lot of art commissions. I, I don't know. One of them was Lei recently, this week, and uh, got two different versions of her like OC character's outfit for the game now i could definitely see this fitting in the game i could definitely i would definitely farm legion tokens or whatever for this armor if it would be put in the game now a lot of people not a lot of people but i see a few people on twitter that get kind of upset when people get their original art added into the game my opinion on that is they do a lot of the stuff for like star wars and infinity war and all these other series and stuff like that i don't see a big difference between something like having Tony Stark in the game or a character in the community in the game I actually think it's better because it represents people in the community more prominent figures in the community for the game now might be biased on that but yeah that's my opinion on that stuff I don't think anyone should be upset if community members are getting items in the game especially if they're of high enough quality to like look like they would fit in the game anyway so yeah pretty cool hope we see it in the game it looks really nice so the original uh, person who did the art for this set that Lei then turned into like his style or transformed it into more of a AQW friendly style uh, was LHG. I think I actually have featured this art on the in one of these videos before. Now you can see you can see where it changed. Yeah, yeah, few few changes there. Yeah, so yeah, some for the worse, some for the better. Here's a different color version of the navel I was talking about. The blue. Uh, or teal or whatever color it is the blue with the black there that version 
disabled look sick color custom you know hey everything everything at aq should just be color custom yeah 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 i know i know this one would be good color custom although i do like the white and red a lot so yeah this is confirmed to be in game i actually can't wait to get this and uh this is he says it's a personal version for kitsune kitsune's the person who um commissioned it so i don't think if I don't think it going in game. I don't think he'll get a personal version. That would be kind of weird. I could see people having a big issue with that. Uh, <laughs> but if it's just the white and red version is going in the game, or maybe the white and red is color custom, then I could see that being fine. But uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. I would not get upset about that, about a personal, because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be in the game. So don't be upset and unless it actually gets into the game. Then you're, f then you're okay with being upset. Just putting that out there and what I'm saying is not nothing's confirmed another another naval action this was pretty good actually uh, it's it's not it's not his fault that he made a naval there's gonna be a lot of them between now and September and then probably after that they'll be after September they'll be getting ready for next year uh, in like January so yeah pretty cool like the colors the brown and the green or teal the yellow the yellow and the green look very good together big fan and yeah the shoulder yeah. Oof. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the news we got for this week. Not a lot, actually. I kind of stretched it out a little bit, but hey, thanks for watching. We'll be back here next Thursday with hopefully some more. Uh, to end off this video, we got this thing and one more little thing. So, uh, achievement tracker classes, house quests, more, and the Doom Dragon Warrior upgrade bonus will be uh, tomorrow. On the June 14th will be the Father's Day of Doom. The 21st will be the Shadow of War. Uh, Jinx the Thief Part 1 plus the Summer Shop. Pretty excited for that. And on the 28th will be Part 2 of the War. Or uh, Part 2 of this. I'm guessing this will be a War. I'm, I said War instinctually because I know when they do these two parts, the first part's a War, and then the second part is going to be a Quest or vice versa. So, yeah, expect that. And then Part 2 plus Wheel of Doom Merch Shop. So, new stuff in the Wheel of Doom there. So, yeah, that's the rest of June there, your little roadmap. Also, if you're looking to buy ACs, there will be a new upgrade package tomorrow also. So, good time to buy them, I guess. And if you buy 2,000 ACs, you get an extra 500 and so on and so on. The percentage goes up as the amount of ACs you buy goes up with that. And I think they're doing uh, bonuses for AQ3D and uh, Original Adventure Quest and all, the, all their other games. I think even Mech Quest has one even though they don't make new content for mech quest so what would you spend the currency on but hey if you wanted to buy mech quest currency you could do that so that is all of the news for this week thank you guys for tuning in leave a like if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you're not already i'll be streaming the new adventure quest worlds content on this channel tomorrow uh check out all of the art i featured in the description i try to mention that every video uh it's always down there so go give them a follow on twitter if you have a twitter account or uh, check back here next week for more. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Uh, last thing, I will be streaming the Xbox conference and maybe some more E3 on my Twitch. So if you're not following me on Twitch, go check that out. If you want to see my reaction to game trailers and stuff like that. I do play more games than Adventure Quest Worlds, believe it or not. I'm very excited for Cyberpunk, Borderlands, Outer Worlds, Animal Crossing, stuff like that. So yeah, look forward to that. And I'll be streaming some of that on my Twitch channel. So see you guys around.